Hello friends, today we are going to study about the LCD interfacing with 8051 microcontroller. First of all, we will see the pin description of the LCD. So, this is my 16 by 2 LCD which has 8 data lines, then 3 control lines, 8 data lines, I will call it as D0 to D7 and the control pins or the control lines are register select read write bar and the enable bar enable vcc v and vss provides me the power supply this vee -E pin is used for the varying the contrast of the display or the brightness of the display 16 by 2 lcd can display 16 characters on row 1 and 16 characters on row 2 or we will call it as a line 2 also LCD mainly comprises of two internal registers one is instruction command register and the second one is data register which will be selected through the status of this pin that is register select if the register select pin is 0 then instruction or command code is selected and if the status of RS is equal to high that means it will select data register then followed by the read write pin the status of read write pin if it is 1 then we can read the data from LCD that is to check the status of the D 7th bit and if it is 0 then we can write data into the LCD so most of the times we are going to write data into the LCD uh, we are not going to check the busy flag here so always this bit will be 0 and the use of this enable pin if the data is coming onto the D, D0 to D7 pins in order to latch that data into the LCD I have to generate the enable pulse that is high to low pulse in order to latch that data into the LCD in case of write operation in case of read operation I have to generate low to high pulse Now we will study about the timing diagram of the LCD. Here you can see I am having 8 data lines. So this timing diagram is for the write function that is high to low pulse, high to low pulse for enable, li enable line. So in order to latch that data into the LCD, I should generate a high to low pulse on enable pin then followed by the read write status as this is write operation so read write bar is always zero for that entire time period and the register select pin either it can be one or zero as it is zero the instruction or command code is selected command code register is selected now we will go for the simulation model of interfacing of 8051 microcontroller with LCD. I will choose Protis 8 professional as the simulation model. So, first of all, we will draw the interfacing diagram. So, steps new project, name to your project LCD underscore. hit on next do not create any schematic hit on next do not create PCB layout no firmware project so summary of your project is displayed over here finish hit on schematic capture icon now I should go for the components mode first then hit on this P icon then I will go for selecting the microcontroller that is AT889C51RD2. That is 8051 based microcontroller. The device has been added in your list. Then I should add one more device that is LCD type into the keywords as LCD 
I will choose LM 016L LCD that is alpha numeric LCD you can choose either of this device has been added now just hit on your added device drag it down on your schematic I have just zoomed this then add your LCD device so related with interfacing details now you can see as discussed earlier 8 data lines 3 control lines register select read write and enable so I should connect I'm going to connect the data lines to the P1 port of my microcontroller so I will just connect this P1.0 to D0 pin then P1.1 to D1 pin data line 1 P1.2 to D2 pin P1.3 to D3 pin P1.4 to D4 P1 D5 line P1.6 P1.5 sorry D6 <coughs> to the P1.6 and D7 okay so connections to the 8 data lines has been established now I will correct the register select pin to the P2.0 pin of microcontroller register select pin to the microcontroller microcontroller's p2.0 then p2.1 pin to the read write bar pin and p2.3 sorry p2.2 over here okay so connection has been has been established no need to collect the VCC or the ground internally it will be connected then no need to connect the crystal frequency as well as the VCC and the ground supply so my interfacing diagram right now is ready I have connected the 8 data lines sorry D1 line is not connected that should be connected to the P1.1 pin so you can see 8 data lines are connected to the port P1 and 3 control lines are connected to P2.0, P2.1 and P2.2. Now we will go for the ASM program, LCD interfacing program. So now you can see I will start from the ORG00H that is 00th memory location take down 38h value into the accumulator a call command so my instruction pointer will now go for the routine called a command 38h what is use of this 38h 0fh 06h 01h 80h is displayed over here so 38h will select two lines 5 by 7 matrix lcd then 0fh is to on the cursor or, or the display that is display on cursor blinking or cursor on you can call 06h as you are writing the characters onto the LCD then it will increment the cursor that is shift cursor right 01 is to clear the display 80h is the line 1 po position 1 of your LCD ATH. If I am writing 86H, it will give me cursor line 1 and position 6 like this. Okay. So you can see as these are the commands, I will I have called one command routine. So as I am transferring 38 value, then it will go into this. So as I am going for delivering that 
command subroutine instruction pointer will now point at command subroutine so command subroutine whatever value which we have taken into the accumulator send it to the port t1 t1 is connected to the d0 to d7 lines that is data lines of your lcd then followed by as this is command then status of rs pin should be 0 the read write pin as we are writing data read write pin status should be 0 that is clear p2.0 clear p2.1 and in order to write the data as discussed earlier in the lcd timing diagram we have to generate high to low pulse so i have set enable pin equal to 1 call some delay and then clear p2.2 that is enable equal to 0 and go for the as ret that is written from where it was called so once again second command that is 0fh lcd on cursor on 06h 01ath so these instructions codes will be transferred to the port t1 initially you can call this as a initialization of the lcd then we will switch to the display you can see move a comma hash s that is i am transferring this s character into the accumulator it will take down the ascii value of this character and then call the function that is a call display so it will go for the execution of this display subroutine so display here the display routine is written accumulator's value will be transferred to the port p1 register as now the register <coughs> select pin status should be 1 in order to select data register so set bp 2.0 then read write pan pin should be 0 as we are writing the data then followed by set the enable pin equal to 1 call some delay clear p2.2 that is enable equal to 0 high to low pulse on p2.2 that is enable pin then once again return now i am going to display this characters s a n v i t so every time you can see i have called the i have taken that character into the accumulator i have <coughs> seen that character to the port p1 and it will be displayed onto the lcd so this is the delay routine as delay is called my instruction pointer will execute this delay routine you can generate this delay with the help of timers also so this is the end of program so i will just copy this program i am going to use <coughs> mid51 as the software so you can see i have copied this program onto the mid studio and just I have saved this program with .asm extension. So name of my project is now lcd11.asm. You can see now in order to generate the hex file, I have to save this program and just hit on build. So it will generate the hex file that is lcd11.hex has been generated. So this is my program. Now I am going to dump this hex file into the my simulation model. So you have to just give the path of your hex file. So my hex file is now present in this folder. I will go onto the simulation model. So uh, in order to dump the hex file, you have to just hit twice left click of your mouse. Give appropriate path to the folders. just hit on open i have choose this file lcd 11 dot <coughs> open okay so file has been dumped into the microcontroller now we will simulate this you can see the characters has been displayed that is submit yes a n p i t is displayed onto the lcd as i have started from 80h micro uh, 80h location so a will be displayed at 81h 
n will be displayed at 82h v will be displayed at 83h likewise so we can display 16 characters onto the first row as well as onto the second row also in order to display the characters onto the second row i i will start uh, i will take the starting address as c0h so we will have that changes into the program we will stop the simulation first I will go into the MID 51. The starting address we have given as 80H. So just I will put here C0H. But I have to write 0C0H because this is not a character. This is hexadecimal number. So C0H, save this. Once again, build and onto the simulation model. Just double left click give the path the same path file name is ncdleon.hex open hit on ok and just run this you can see the changes into the program it is displayed onto the second row initially it was displayed onto the first row thank you for subscribing thank you for watching this video please do share like and subscribe me on my website wikinote.org